Happy January, everybody. Now let's take a look at some games coming out this month. Starting out, we have Rise and Shine, a 2D side-scroller that follows a young boy in his newly acquired sentient gun, releasing on January 13th. Next, we have Road Redemption, which centers on a motorcycle gang and is a combo of racing and fighting genres, coming out January 15th. 2064 Read Only Memories is a text-based, point-and-click puzzle game with multiple endings. This is coming out on January 17th. The Flame in the Flood. This game looks like it's really easy to get lost in. It has a cool art style that looks like a mix of Tim Burton's Coraline, The Wolf Among Us, and the last gen cult classic and DLC money pit, Destiny. All backed by a bluesy soundtrack, based on the trailer. The game looks like a riot in the best way possible. This is coming out January 17th. Urban Empire is a city builder with a twist. It has internal politics. This is coming out on January 20th. First out of Square Enix this month, we have Kingdom Hearts 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue. This game is made up of three parts. First, we have an HD remaster of Dream Drop Distance, the 3DS game in the series that picks up at the moment we left Sora, Riku, and Kairi, right after the credits rolled in Kingdom Hearts 2. Kingdom Hearts X, which was a mobile game in Japan, is set 100 years before the events of Kingdom Hearts, and sets the stage for Kingdom Hearts 3. The main draw of this game is the third portion, Kingdom Hearts 0.2, A Fragmentary Passage. This section follows Aqua right after Birth by Sleep and is a completely new part of the story. Remember everyone, the road to Kingdom Hearts 3 is a marathon, not a sprint. A really, really, really long marathon. Kingdom Hearts 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue comes out January 24th. Resident Evil 7 comes out on January 24th as well. This game doesn't really need an explanation. Tales of Basaria of the popular Tales series is coming out on January 24th. Yakuza 0 is a 3D fighter. It focuses on the player fighting, this is just based on the trailer, hordes of normal looking people in a really gory and over the top fashion. It looks like a good time. This game is coming out on January 24th. Double Dragon 4 is a 2D side scroller that draws on the NES looking nostalgia. It comes out on January 29th. Also from Square Enix, Hitman, the complete first season, comes out this month. This lets you play through all of 47 Season 1 locations. I'm honestly pretty unfamiliar with this series, so I cannot vouch for what that means. Also worth noting, though, Square Enix's website says that some of the quote-unquote advanced features are only available on the PS4 Pro. This collection comes out January 31st. Also coming out on January 31st, and closing this countdown, we have Digimon World Next Order. I couldn't find too much on this game online, but I'm sure Digimon fans are excited to get something anyway. I'm Nate from Dolphin Pod, and this has been your month ahead.